Hey guys, so today we're gonna do Pioneer Woman's cold brew coffee. Perfect iced coffee. This is all of the steps. Approximately one and a half gallons of iced coffee concentrate. Um, so what we'll need is one pound of ground coffee, good rich roast. I'm personally using Starbucks French roast, intense and smoky with their dark roast. Um, I already weighed this out prior um, because I was trying to do this recipe and I just haven't taken the time. So. Um, I'm just going to do that. She says we also need eight quarts of cold water. I need to actually go get that. Milk or half and half and then sweetened condensed milk. I do have that step. I have that for later. I'm going to put the cold coffee in here after. So um, the other thing she didn't say in here that I thought was kind of frustrating, that's why it took me so long to do this, was you need a cheesecloth or some way to filter out your coffee from the coffee grounds. So this is the first step that we're going to do today. Um, she says place the ground coffee into a large container. So this is the container. I've got, I cleaned it out, washed it last week. This is a 2.5 gallon bin. It looks like she's using a 12 quart bin in her photo. I couldn't find anything during these quarantine times. So um, we're just gonna work with what we have at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my coffee now. This bin's gonna smell like so good. Here is our one pound of coffee. Oh my God. Oh my God. Water. We need to do two of these. Here we go. Pour it. She says pour it over the grounds because we want to get them. She said make sure we're all getting them soaked into the water. Okay, so that was one. We're gonna pour in our second gallon. Oh yeah. I'm gonna count these. Give it a stir to make sure that all of your grounds are wet. And then step four is place the lid on the container and let it sit on the counter at room temperature for 12 to 24 hours. I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours, so it is 9.17 a.m. on Saturday. I'm going to come back to this and start drinking my coffee 9.17 tomorrow. I'm actually really happy that this container holds the whole recipe because I was very scared about this. I thought I didn't have a big enough container, so using what you have on hand is always better because then you don't have to spend that money. Um, so make sure you always improvise. And then uh, we'll come back at this tomorrow and let's have some coffee together. Okay, bye guys. See you in 24 hours. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Sunday at 9.31, I'm a little late. Um, I got my coffee right here ready to go. I've got my, metal, my mesh strainer with some cheesecloth and then the two gallon jug. Step five says lay some cheesecloth in a fine mesh strainer. Slowly pour the coffee slash water mixture through the strainer and into the container or vat. Sorry if you can hear dishes in the background guys. We're 
working with what we got. I'm not comfortable enough to do what she's saying in the instructions, which is lifting this big container and pouring it in. So I got myself a Pyrex 2 cup that we have on hand, and that's how I'm going to do that. I'm a professional. Not really, but. I think this is going to take a long process. Hey, before I have two gallons, two cups at a time. Don't wait for it. Oh, it's coffee, babe. It should be worth it. Oh, I just want to see if I can get like most of the grounds out of the way. Cold brew, baby. Good things take time. I'm gonna set that down and we're gonna dance. That's horrible. There we go. I've seen good. Oh. <laughs> Three hours later. to try this and see if I really like it this way um, I'm trying to give myself the best coffee in a sense um, if you guys have your own way of doing coffee please let me know because I would love to try it I also really wanted to try this recipe because this recipe is something that I wanted to do for a long time I just didn't have all of these ingredients um, and tools with me but now going through the process or at least halfway through this recipe at this moment um, I'm realizing that I could do some things that are different uh, so I threw out that first round of grounds I think I'm going to next time save the grounds and repurpose them I could probably use that for like an exfoliating scrub for my body um, and then instead of buying cheesecloth, which I think this huge, at my grocery store, at my Kroger, this is the only cheesecloth cheese cloth they had, and it was 72 inches, and I think it was seven bucks. So instead of doing, I think, the cheesecloth for next time, well, I'll probably use it next time, but for a cheaper option, I think I'm gonna do coffee filters. It seems to me it would work the same. So let's go ahead and pour it this last bit out. And I'm just so happy I finally did this recipe. On step six, at the end, gently press the grounds with a spoon to make sure all the liquid makes it through. Discard the cheesecloth with the grounds inside. It's a royal fucking mess, dude. She didn't say fucking, but I do. Because you're a professional. There we go. And let's go put her in the fridge with the other coffee. So that coffee, we were able to make I believe this is a quart, so here's a quart in here. Um, I had to put some in this one, and then we have the rest in here. Nice one gallon. Let's see if I can fit this guy. Oh, yeah, score. Okay. There we go. Yay! 
this is the book that I got the recipe from. I'll make sure I link that down below. And I will make sure I also film like when I first get into the uh, coffee concentrate for my iced coffee. Thank you guys for joining me on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Um, and this was a good tester with my tripods. But obviously I need to figure things out because I'm like taller than my tripod. <laughs> So thank you for bearing with me and I hope you guys love it. See you soon on my next one. Bye guys. So I want to finish off this video by doing a half batch of this recipe as well as showing you how I make my iced coffee now. I cannot do the condensed milk because of the diet I'm on and that includes sugar but I wanted to at least pop in and say, hey, let's try a half batch, um, and then you can see me making coffee, because that was so silly. and never showed you how I made that coffee, so stay tuned. Hi guys, so today we're gonna be making a half batch real quick. I've got my bin right here. The coffee I'm choosing for this half batch is Starbucks Caramel. I've already measured out um, eight ounces of ground coffee in here, and um, a pound is 16 ounces. This recipe calls for eight quarts of water with a pound, so we need four quarts of water. So here we go. My eight ounces of ground coffee goes right in, and then we need four quarts of water, which is 32 ounces is a quart. So we need four of these, and I'm gonna be using essential water. All right, here's one 32 ounce. I'm gonna pour it over the coffee grounds. Get them all kinds of wet. So we're gonna see um, how much that coffee makes for me so that video that you saw in 2020 that lasted two and a half weeks i just never showed you how i made the coffee guys number two 32 ounce Ooh. yeah baby and this time i'm going to try the coffee filter instead of cheesecloth and we're gonna save my coffee grounds this time. Oop, that was a little too much, but there we go. All right, one more. Fourth, 32 ounce. And I think I'm gonna like this half batch a lot better because that was a lot of coffee for one pound of coffee, eight quarts of water. So there we have it. This is what the half batch looks like. I'm going to grab the lid here. And there we go. The time, I wanna get the air out. All right. It is about to be 11 o'clock, so I want this to steep at room temperature for 24 hours. So I will see you guys tomorrow at 24 hours, and then we will build this beautiful coffee. I'm gonna give it a stir, 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 stir. Awesome. See you later. Hey guys, it's been 24 hours with this half batch. I'm about to transfer that into this and I'm going to use a unbleached coffee filter cone um, in the strainer. Let's see. I didn't know if that would work. Maybe not. Um, I don't know yet. We can try it. And once I transfer all this cold brew into 
this bucket I'm gonna pop it in the fridge and then when I'm ready for my coffee I will go ahead and show you how I make that so I'm just gonna speed through this process and see what I already kind of saw it in 2020 So, so far the coffee filter is working. We might have to use a couple of those. I'm going into the cheese cloth, guys. I don't know about the regular, like, cotton. Are they cotton filters or? Mm -hmm. These, I don't recommend these cone filters. Yeah, way faster with cheesecloth. Let's just get that stated. Those cone filters are a no-go. going in with a second thing of cheesecloth. I've already got some grounds to save right here and now I'm gonna go in with dumping this to finish it up. Push those grounds in. I'm gonna take the cheesecloth. I'm just gonna squeeze the rest out. I'm gonna go pop this in the fridge so it can get cold and then we'll go ahead and build some iced coffee. Hi guys! So we are ready to build mommy's iced coffee. I feel like I'm crouching. Hold on. There we go. So right here I've got a reusable Starbucks venti cup with six cubes of ice. I'm going to go ahead and pour in my cold brew. And I'm filling it, I'm assuming I've got about 16 ounces right there. And then this is what I do for myself. I get an extra cup. I go in with the Horizons half and half, two tablespoons. And then I go in with the frother. Yes, boots. But I'm gonna do something different this time. I'm gonna see what it's like to pour some powder. Not yet. Not yet. I know. I you can, can, you can froth for me. I'm gonna sprinkle some Ceylon cinnamon into my half and half, and then we're gonna mix it with the frother. So here's my little trusty sidekick. Only hit the button boots when it's in there, okay? I don't know if you guys can see. Hit the button. And I kind of make myself my own little cold foam. And I keep throttling that for about 30 seconds. I got stuck keep going. for a sec. Oh. Um, well, then I, I need you. to keep going. Oh, I love you too. I'm frothing Keep frothing, don't stop. Don't let go of the button. Let it get all frothy. Oh, in the in the in the milk. Oh. Mm -hmm. There you go. It right kind of looks middle. like a tornado. Yeah. Hey, Keep going, Wayne. I like I like your shirt. <laughs> Thank you. Keep going, please. A little bit more. 
and all done. And then mommy taps it out. And then <laughs> I just go ahead and pour this little half and half foam right <gasps> on top. Yummy. I want to mix it. No, I don't like mixing it, so. No, no, uh, I like to shake it. Like that's that. for mommy. Nope, don't shake it, please. And then as a, all done with the frother. Let's stay quiet. You need to get on your butt, please. What is this thing? Stay quiet. Let no, me close the video out. What is this thing? The stand for the frother. Sit on your butt, please, so I can close the video out. Okay. And then I top it off with some cinnamon on top because I love cinnamon. Me too. And that's it, guys. That is how I make my iced coffee with the cold brew recipe from that recipe book. I want to, I want to, Blow kisses. Tell, I want to tell the camera I like to, I like to show Foxy. Ta-da, I found Foxy. Ah, wow. ah, that ah, caramel flavor ah. was a really good choice. If um, you guys like the camera. <laughs> can you be quiet, please? If you guys choose this recipe, choose something that has flavor as your coffee because this caramel flavor is decadent. I love you guys. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. You got a Make sure you jiggle a little hip, 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 yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, 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 woo. Dance, 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 dance. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Oh my god, it's not done yet.